We booked in for the first slot at 9am. I think this was one of my favourite days so far. Oh my goodness, look at that in the background. Good morning everybody, we are on to Paris day four and it is an early start today. We've been up since 6.15, 6.20am, it's now 7.01 and we are on a tight schedule so this is going to have to be short and sweet because we need to run out the door and get breakfast soon. We are visiting the Palace of Versailles today and like the silly people we are, we booked in for the first slot at 9am and it's an hour train to get there or at least around an hour giving ourselves more than enough time because we don't want to be late and rushing. So we're going to have to dash soon. I'm in a really cute sundress today, I'll just come around and show you guys because it's gonna get up to 21 degrees. But I do think going for breakfast this morning is gonna be pretty chilly. So I'm gonna put my coat on. And that is that for today. I'll see you around Paris. Just walking through the garden of the or the jardin. <laughs> I'm trying the garden of the Palace of Versailles. Um, unfortunately, Yidra and I aren't really dressed for the weather. Me, especially. So we did read the weather forecast, and it said 20, 21 degrees today. But we've arrived in Versailles, and it is very, very, very foggy. 
I'm very chilly. Luckily, I'm not the only tourist that made the same silly mistake because there are lots of us in shorts and dresses today preparing for the 20 degree weather. And unfortunately, it is just a bit foggy and cold. It's probably the coldest morning we've had here so far. At least it's not raining, like touch wood, but at least it's not raining. It could get worse, but it's still really nice. It still feels really fresh. It's nice to be outdoors. The palace was so impressive. I don't think I've ever seen anything so grand. The Hall of Mirrors was a particular highlight for me. It was just so impressive. And we arrived here at 9 a.m., which did mean a very early start, but I'm so glad we got here that early because it was so quiet. There was barely anyone around, which means you could get all your pictures with no one photo bombing, no queuing up to get in to the palace, no queuing to get your photo and feeling like, like you're being rushed along by a crowd. It was really empty. So I feel like I've had the most optimal experience. Um, but we did stop off in the cafe for a brief while to have a hot chocolate because it was quite chilly outside now and headed to the Grand Trianon and Petit Trianon. Is that right? So that's why we're headed now. Fingers crossed, the clouds will lift, the fog will lift, and it will be sunny soon. That is Le Chateau de Versailles done and the um, Grand Trianon and Petit Trianon and the Jardin de Versailles. Um, and I think this was one of my favorite days so far. I know I said the same thing about Montmartre, but I think I just love walking through quiet, peaceful gardens and like, it, it just hasn't been super busy or touristy. Obviously we are in off peak season, but I think this is just my idea of a good day. Shame about the weather, but it's definitely getting warmer now. I'm not as cold. The sun is trying really hard to peek through those clouds. And even though it is cloudy, it's definitely feeling warmer. And we're headed into Versailles city center now. So away from the tourist sightseeing spots and into town to get some lunch. Hopefully something traditional again. We've mainly been going for French food since we've been here. I've eaten a lot of French onion soup, but I'm not complaining about that. And um, fromage, because I do love cheese and fondue last night, but that is the way it should be, I think, when you're on holiday, trying as much of the traditional cuisine as possible.
just got back in from Versailles. Not gonna lie, I am feeling very tired now. My feet are very, very sore, but it was so worth it. We had such a lovely day. Had some nice um, baguettes for lunch. Wandered around the square, found a little market. You guys know how much I love a market. And then hopped on the train back. I'm not gonna lie, I fell asleep on that train and it was so worth it because I needed my sleep so bad. We're now back at the hotel and this is our last sort of full night in Paris, so I think we're gonna freshen up and go all out and have a nice fancy dinner tonight. And obviously it's Yija's birthday tomorrow, so I wanna treat him to a nice fancy dinner. So I've said, pick whatever you want, we're gonna go all out and enjoy our last night together. And then tomorrow morning, I think it's just last minute things we wanted to do, like try some macaroons or, um, or macarons, sorry, um, and then, maybe grab like chocolates and things to bring back for friends and family and last minute souvenirs and maybe a crepe before we go as well. Oh, we're also going to a bakery I've had on my must visit list since coming here as well. I looked into it and we were recommended it as well, I think, called Stora, I think is how you say it. Um, and I love pastries and things, so that is my absolute must see before I leave tomorrow, so that's, gonna be the first thing on the plan but I'm gonna go hop in the shower now freshen up and get ready for tonight so we are back again by the Eiffel Tower because Yidra and I decided that for our last night we'd come here and have a nice fancy dinner as I think I said that in my earlier vlog but I've forgotten anyway back by the Eiffel Tower and we really wanted to see it like lit up and sparkly at night so that's what I'm waiting to see oh my goodness look at that in the background it looks so good I can't wait for it to be all lit up how's Paris been Yija? it's been good it's been yeah. good back home tomorrow though unfortunately but it's been so wonderful And that is our final night in Paris over. I can't believe how much it's flown by. Dinner tonight couldn't have been more perfect. We went for a lovely three course, slightly fine dining dinner with some red wine. And it was just what we both wanted is like a final dinner in Paris and a little bit more splash out for Yija's birthday. We both thoroughly enjoyed it. I can definitely say my favorites were my cauliflower soup starter and um, Oh, the creme brulee. The creme brulee was so good. For our desserts, we, like Yidra and I, when we go to restaurants, we tend to share our, um, all of our courses. So we always get something different and then swap halfway through. So I went for the pistachio mousse and Yidra went for the creme brulee, but we both knew we really wanted to try the creme brulee. And both desserts were so good, but my goodness, the creme brulee was just to die for. And I'm really sad I haven't tried more of them in France because when in France, like we're here and um, it's a speciality, but I've mostly lived off onion soup this whole holiday <laughs> and cheese. Um, but yes, the creme brulee was really good. We got to see the Eiffel Tower all sparkling and lit up at night just as I wanted to. And it was just a perfect way to end our final night. But I don't know if you can tell, I'm very much exhausted now. Today has been our like most walking day i can't even formulate sentences um the day we've done the most steps we're on to i think nearly thirty thousand. it's something like 28 29 steps which is just insane i'm very tired we've been up since like 6 15 a.m or whatever and i need my bed we did plan on going to a jazz club or something tonight and experiencing a little bit of like french nightlife or something but we both finished our three course meals and we're like bedtime <laughs> it's definitely bedtime tomorrow's our first lie-in we're gonna do the last things that we haven't done so far didn't get to do see any last sights which i don't think there are really any sights it's more just buying chocolate for friends and family i think i've already said that um buying macarons and there was another thing on the list it'll come back to me in the morning oh yuja wants to try oysters that's like his last must do and then obviously store for pastries 
I've definitely already said all of this. I'm repeating myself because I'm tired. I'm going to take my makeup off and go to bed now because I could honestly fall asleep mid-vlog. Today is our last day in Paris. I can't believe how quick this holiday has gone. We did have a little bit of a lie-in in bed this morning because it is Yija's birthday today. I mean, I was up at seven, so not really a lie-in for me. I think Yija was awake at eight and then we've just spent the morning packing. It's now nine. We're going to run to our... I was gonna say favorite bakery, but we haven't actually been there before, but one of the starred bakeries on our list of places to see, as I said last night, and just do last minute bits and bobs. We didn't get out to the jazz club last night as we planned to do because we were both so tired after our dinner. We just came straight back to the room and crashed and went to sleep. It's been a very, very tiring week. Um, what else have I got to say? Ah yes, as it's the last day, we are on to our final outfit of Paris, and that is this outfit right here. Um, just a jeans, shirt, blazer, to be honest I'm quite hot in the blazer but I did put it on because it's meant to be slightly chillier today and then I'm going to stick my um, white trainers on but that is that, like thank you for coming on this trip to Paris with me I guess, oh it's a bit blurry, um, suitcase all packed down here and we're going to go check out.